Hi folks, it's Adrian Crypto Burp speaking. Welcome to today's Friday webinar. It's a very important day. It's a very important Friday because it's the end of the month. It means that we are about to step in and enter the most bullish season of the year. April and May has historically been the season that the markets performed the best and especially in the pre-election years, over 84 years in the last decades. Only once the year was bullish. Hi folks, it's Aidan Cryptoburp. Hi folks, it's Aidan Cryptoburp speaking. Hi folks, it's Aidan Cryptoburp speaking. Welcome to today's Friday webinar. It's a special Friday webinar. It's a special Friday because today is the end of the month. We are ending and finishing March, and we are about to step in and enter the most bullish season of the year. April and May has historically been the most important and the most critical bullish season for the entire year to generate the biggest amount of profits and rallies for cryptocurrencies in over 84 years, only once the entire year was bearish. If you're ready to hear about this and more, and why you should get ready and how we should get ready for the upcoming rallies, make sure to stay tuned. We are going there right in a second. Welcome, welcome, welcome again. It's Adrian CryptoGroup speaking. Welcome to today's Friday webinar. And all hands aboard, everybody. We are taking off. We are taking off. Bitcoin is taking off towards the end of the month. And, well, this is definitely connected with the anticipation of bullish April and May season. There is this wise saying that historically has been proven very often right. That you say, sell and may go away. All right, sell them and go away. That is the typical seasonal pattern, which is basically finishing the so-called sweet spot of the seasonality um, phenomenon. Right, the seasonality phenomenon is a very interesting is a very interesting capture for how the markets work. Right, and they are often driven by external exogenous factors, just like presidential cycles or weather. Right, it is no surprise or secret that temperatures often rise during the summer. And they are way higher than they are in the winter. And even though we cannot predict the future, even though that we cannot confirm with 100% guarantee that this summer is going to be as hot as the other days, well, or that it's not going to freeze, right? Just maybe this year we're going to freeze and have minus, you know, negative temperatures. However, what are the odds for that, right? You cannot predict the future. However, if you look back at the data that is just as extensive as 200 days or 200 years, and every single time summer is warmer is hotter than imagine you know january then what are the odds that it's going to be different this time same with the markets if for 84 years only one year was a bearish year was a losing year on the pre-elections and this is happens this 2023 happens to be a pre-election year with average return on the s p 500 of 20 percent and average nasdaq return of 30 percent especially they are driven to the upside more and encouraged to rally if they are preceded by the midterm bear market. And guess what? The last year was the midterm bear market. We've got, ladies and gentlemen, powerful, powerful setup for massive, huge rallies for this year. And we're about to enter the most bullish fraction, the most bullish factor, the most bullish season, April and May. Those two months tend to be the strongest performer that finish off something that we know as the sweet spot rally, which extends from the quarter four of the preceding bear market midterm elections towards the quarter two of the following year, that is a pre-election year. Well, there are so many things, so many good things about this year and really getting me excited about that. And there are a couple of other points that I want you to watch this video till the very end because otherwise you will miss opportunities that may earn you hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? This is a good, good no-brainer deal and I want you to hear about that shortly. However, before I get there, let's get a little bit of a review for how the markets work. So first of all, what are we looking at here? What we're we looking at is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, right? And you can tell that the stocks and the averages, the major averages are in green, right? They are in profit. This is a bullish day over year for the close of the year. And here we are looking 
And here we're looking at a bullish chart that is actually just, again, breaking above critical resistance, right? As you know, technical analysis often works because of self-fulfilling prophecies. And such is the breaking through the support, right? If it breaks through the support, the rule of thumb, the heuristic that is learned behavior, many traders would anticipate, okay, the broken support is bearish, right? However, if it actually traps and entails all those late shorters, all those late bears who just entered the party at the very bottom to sell and to short, and they got caught off the card and the market rallies higher, this is a perfect candidate for a reversal setup, right? It is because, well, they are forced, those late shorters are close to sell, uh, to close their sales, to reverse their sales, especially, <coughs> excuse me, especially, <coughs> especially if it's a bullish season, right? What may happen is, again, that they are forced uh, to avoid liquidation and they are forced to avoid liquidation by closing their positions, which means they have to cover for the shorts. They have to close and buy back higher because they were wrong. They lost money on this bet, right? And because of that, those rallies that come out the reverse patterns that come out of the false breakouts, right? A false breakout is an example where it's not maintained, it's not sustained when it breaks through the floor and it comes back soon above it, right? So when that happens, this is a false breakout. It is a specialist breakout, a hunting, you know, for the stop losses, whatever you name that. It doesn't matter too much because what it represents is a failed pattern. And failed patterns tend to perform better to the upside or in the opposite direction of the breakout itself. And there are good reasons for that, right? Like I said, it's empowered additionally by the so-called short squeeze, right? When the futures traders are pressed to, um, to close off their, their positions to cover for the shorts, unless... Um, or until they get liquidated, right? If they have a very tight stop loss and very very high leverage, they get liquidated. And those liquidations, those forced liquidations are pushing the prices higher, right? So this is a short squeeze. And if that actually becomes self-fulfilling and self-promoting, this may happen that we are about to see some major, major squeeze, right? However, leaving the forecasting aside, I would say that just looking at the technical picture, we have bounced of the area around the 200 day moving average, right? Technical analysis and just like in any aspect of the real world, it's not ideal, right? There are no ideals, there are no, there's no perfection. There's a lot of chaos, a lot of entropy, a lot of inherent unpredictability, right? That you cannot really get rid of. A lot of noise and a lot of um, uncertainty. And this causes for the markets to fluctuate around certain levels, right? So it's impossible to talk about price level. It's impossible to talk about the support at 3,000 points, right? Or 30,000 points. However, we do refer to those as the base area, right? As the support area, as the support cluster, resistance cluster. So it's a zone instead of one price. Eventually, imagine a whole community of traders, millions of people just waiting in line to buy one of the same asset, good food, beverage, drink, whatever, for one price, right? Eventually, if somebody is thirsty, they're going to step out of the queue and go and they are ready to pay higher. They are ready to pay more to satisfy their uh, their you know their their thirst. They bring thirsty. Same thing happens with the demand on the markets, right? If you are ready to pay more, well, you get it faster. So if we take it further, right, to the S&P 500, we are breaking above all the critical averages. Again, flooring somewhere around the area of the December loss of 2022, right? We broke above higher, of course, with 4,200 points as the main resistance, a little bit of an overthrow, failed pattern to the downside you know, that developed towards the support of 3,800, right? And it's bounced off aggressively and very sharply. And it's confirming something that otherwise looked like a inverse head and shoulder pattern, right? And it looks fairly consistent. It for, looks very credible, if you ask me. It's having this pretty cool neckline, pretty cool setup, again, for, um, for the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. And it's breaking above this inverse head and shoulder pattern in a reliable manner, crossing and bridging all of those averages, right? So this is the cluster that I was referring to. Have a look. So we've got 50-day moving average. We've got 30, uh, 20 20-day moving average, which represents the short-term trend and the 200-day one, right? Those all together aggregated in one narrow place between 3950 and 4,800 or 4,000 points for the S&P 500, the large cap index. Well, this works as a cushion. This works as a cluster of supports. Each and every single average creates as a potential support and anchor that prices often gravitate towards, right? And we are breaking above it aggressively towards 4100s. This is a critical breakout important because we are making a higher high, 
right? We're breaking above the inverse head and shoulders. And at the same time, we're trading above all the averages, right? Which start curving up. And uh, well, this is a very powerful and important breakout if you ask me. If we take it further, the XLY versus XLP, right? Now uh, it's actually accelerating, you know, to the upside for the XLY for the consumer discretionary. And uh, well, consumer staples also kind of like are pushing a little bit, right? So it's more of a whole stock market increase. However, you can tell that there is distinct leadership and strength coming up on the XLY, the risk offense of the risk cyclical stocks versus the 0.62% improvement over the day uh, for the XLP, which is the basic goods and customer staples, expressing the demand for um, basic goods for low spending kind of like efforts, right? For something that is considered um, associated with uncertainty. So here, uh, we, we are looking at a clear relationship that is uh, led, that is definitely led by the XLY. So the relative strength of ratio, if you divide the price of the XLY versus XLP, it's going to show the favors, right? Uh, good favors for the XLY. And this brings this momentum principle, right? Which is where the outperforming assets will continue to outperform. So how following this powerful breakouts, you want to see in this spot those distinct leadership. Um, stocks, right? And you can tell that the consumer discretionary, which is responsible for driving the bull markets, is actually the main leader for the day, right? It's the main leader. This is a positive, powerful signal. Uh, and it's apparently just getting started. Look at this cluster of supports right here, right? 403, um, 443 and 445 is a support cluster, right? Coming out of those averages. And it's breaking higher with powerful gap up, right? This breakaway gap of the resistance again, head and shoulders pattern inverse. Uh, I would argue that the potential target is anywhere if we are to measure that with the base size uh, from 445 towards 135. So the base 10 basis points, right? Taking us potentially towards 155 as a measured move with the side, right? So then, well, you still may be wondering why I'm telling you about, well, the other markets, the traditional markets, the stocks, right? And the other uh, industries and not just Bitcoin. Well, the reason is that Bitcoin, it does not trade in vacuum. The markets on the cryptocurrencies, they do not trade in vacuum. You're looking at the markets which are crypto uh, dependent or the crypto dependent um, assets, you know, are dependent upon other assets. So they're all interrelated. They're all cross-correlated somehow. And those correlations tend to be often positive, right? The coefficients tend to be positive and those markets tend to move in the same direction or they can go into negative regions. And the negative correlation or inverse relationship means that when the one price of one security goes up, the other one goes down, right? And it often fluctuates and changes and rotates and it shifts over the time. And it's uh, very important to keep tracking those relative strength principles, right? Keep observing this momentum principle of the out outperforming assets that will continue to outperform and that the losers will continue to lose even more, right? The most uh, profitable strategies actually include at least a fraction of so-called momentum portfolio or UMD, right? Which means up minus down. And this portfolio management strategy actually involves that you and assumes that you long the strength and short the weakness. You want to be exposed to buying and long long buying basically the, the good performers, the outperformers, right, such as XLY, and you want to short those which are relatively weaker, right? So you want to sell the weakness, buy the support, buy the, buy the strength, long the strength, short the weakness, right? And this is what makes a lot of money. So if we are to get back on the track with the analysis, right, what else should we discuss? Well, it's definitely the uh, U.S. Treasuries, right? So having a look at the USB, which is the 30-year bond, uh, 30-year bond prices, right? We're looking at a little bit of an increase. The increasing bond prices typically are associated with increasing demand, and this is in the far end of the of the yield curve, represented by the expectations and anticipations of the investors, right? So while the Fed acts upon the shorter end of the curve, right? Within often just triggering the Fed, Fed, Fed funds rate, you know, or um, much more often associated with with um, with the shorter maturities, such as you know, again, uh, here we are for monthly bills, right? For um, three month bills, six month bills, and uh, and even notes, right? So observing those long term uh, long term maturities helps us understand what the investors are anticipating, right? And increased demand well means that they are expecting. Right, that the yields, the long-term yields will come down.
and eventually for the TNX, which represents 10 year yields, um, you know, it's all coming down, right? There is an inverse relationship and negative correlation between the bond price and the, and the yields, right? The interest rates. And for this reason, again, increased demand on the bond side, you know, means that, that you know, the, the yields are com basically coming down. And uh, that's what we're looking at right now in the 10 year yields, right? As a, they struggle to maintain and so far having rejected uh, the 20 day average, you know, they face the risk of a, of a serious continuation to the downside, right? Um, well, and if Fed doesn't really want to ignore what the investors are pricing in and those investors are responsible collectively for the economy as a whole, right? Then, um, then arguably they will have to step in and act in the direction of the anticipations, right? So then if we take it, if we take it even further, right, the two year, the two year yields, you can tell that they are bouncing a little, right? So the two year yields are bouncing strongly to the upside and the 10 year yields basically are coming off slightly, right? So the disparity between the 10 year and the two years uh, is increasing. And this is so-called inverted yield curve, right? So if we are to put in the yield curve inversion, right? Let's have a look at the dashboard. The yield curve inversion is going to be I do assume somewhere over here. There we go. Right, the yield curve inversion. There we go. The difference, the interest rate spread between the 10 year and the two years, right? Which means that the two years are leading if this is on a negative side, right? Because this disparity, this difference is negative. So here at minus, point, minus 0.55, right? This is the deepest yield curve inversion still that we've got ever since 1980s, right? And every single time, the recession was preceded by inversion of the yield curve. So this means it's a very clear and distinct candidate and continues to be so uh, for a recession, right? However, the recessive environment is not necessarily good or sorry, is not necessarily bad for the markets as a whole, right? Because uh, they, the economy tends to be led by the stocks, right? By the, by the financial markets and the financial markets lead the economy, the business cycle, which may be an expansion or recession or contraction uh, by six to nine months, right? So what's going on in the stocks is a good barometer, is a good expectation um, estimate, you know, for what may be going on in terms of the slowdown or expansion or contraction in the S&P 500. And what it tells me is that even though there is increased risk of recession ahead, we are rallying with the stocks. We are rallying, right? The S&P 500, again, is rallying. It's a good uh, forecasting indicator. And, uh, well... I would argue because of this rally, because of the stocks bottoming out in October on or um, you know last year, this is a good candidate if we manage to follow through higher, right? For the for the um, for the recession to be short lived, it doesn't need to necessarily mean soft landing. It may be just short lived and short recession. Hope it does make sense so far, right? And we still have about 10, 15 minutes left. And there are a couple of important points that I wanted to mention. And one of the most important points is before I go and move on to cryptocurrencies, is for you to understand the two aspects, the volatility index, which is the VIX, the implied volatility index, as well as the dollar, right? So the VIX is coming off. The VIX is coming off sharply following this massive spike and massive mean uh, reverting process as the VIX basically went up to 30, right, which, which they broke out over the long, basically, last six months of, of the range, right, somewhere between 18 and, and 25, you know, and this is mean reverting by nature. It means that it's most likely going to oscillate around, uh, around the means, right? It's not trending so much per se because the volatility fluctuates and the volatility implied index, the implied volatility index regards the demand upon the options, right, um, for the 30-day ahead so what traders are anticipating by purchasing certain options for 30 days ahead you know it tells us how much they fear and if those options uh, purchases they keep they keep piling up it means that the traders are anticipating right so uh, the put options basically said if you buy a put option you do assume and want to prepare as an insurance right that the stocks will come off and that the stocks will come to go down and this is a little bit of an insurance for the market collapse and if you see this insurance kind of like stocks or insurance options piling up, this typically is correlated with induced fears as traders anticipate the bearishness and the collapse of the, of the market in the following 30 days, right? So this coming off sharply by over 50%, right, from 30, uh, even one down to over uh, 19, I would argue that, or even 1861 as it presently shows, you know, I would say that this is um, 
then this is good, right? For the stocks, it means that traders are um, not pricing in any dangers anymore. <coughs> right, and finally, the dollar, the dollar chart, which looks uh, fairly bearish, if you, if you ask me, right? There has been distinct strong rejection on the big dollar fund, UUP, which is a good approximation, which is a good proxy to understanding the dollar price action, right? Because the demand upon the big dollar um, bull of funds, you know, tells me that, well, the traders, in, when the prices of the fund increase, the, the traders would be much more associated um, and much more expected again to uh, for the dollar to climb, right? So this is just a vehicle to understanding the price action of the dollar. And you can tell that it's trading below the two or three averages with the bearish crossover of a 20-day 20, uh, 20 average short-term trend moving below the flat 50-day trend following this massive major breakout. So the conclusion is that the trend has turned the dollar has reversed and following the peaks right the following the peaks of the last year uh, around 115 or so right we've seen nothing but this powerful decline towards um, towards 100 levels right this magical resistance magical thinking of 100 this is a round number many people love those easy to remember memorized names and round numbers right because it's easy to remember it's easy to memorize and frame our our minds and anchor there and just like Jay Powell sell, you know, said you, they picked two up two percent inflation rate because they chose it as a psychological anchor, and eventually the market is going to follow that, right? And this is self fulfilling. However, it does work. So here, declining dollar prices naturally are going to be associated with uh, more ease for the risk assets like stocks or cryptocurrencies to grow. Quick point, if you're watching that on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bells, hit the like, leave some comments, drop some questions if you have any, uh, because definitely we've got lots of content coming up every single day on our Twitter, uh, on our YouTube and on every other channel that we've got on Twitter at the Burpness and on my personal Twitter at crypto underscore Burp, B-I-R-B. Watch out for impersonators. Um, this is definitely very important, right? Because we are about to enter the most bullish season of the year for the cryptocurrencies. And here is how we should get ready for that. So first of all, we are looking at one of the same pattern, historically speaking, at the Brave Coin, um, Brave New Coin Liquid Index, BLX, uh, basically telling you that one of the same pattern following the breakout over the 200 day average above the bear market, which is basically what we're looking at right now. This very setup, right, where the uh, dotted circles are. This is what you know, helps us understand that we're looking at the signal that is exactly the same one that associated and accompanied the rallies that took as far as, or as low as 13x measured from the signal breakout, 13x, that's a 12 or 1300% to even over 500x. So even over 500x came out from the signal from one of the same signal that we're looking at right now. And this signal was a breakout out of the bear market that lasted approximately over six months or even a year above their horizontal resistance and above the 200 day moving average, which keeps and continues to incline and grow right now. And this signal brought anywhere between 13X and 500X or even more since the breakout, right? So it's the question is, why would you break? Why would you trade against that? How could you short this long-term breakout that historically brought anywhere between 13x and 500x in profit? How ridiculous does it sound? Like how crazy does it get to short this powerful long-term rally? What are the odds? Right? So that's exactly the same question that I ask on Twitter. Why would anyone short the long-term breakout on Bitcoin? Right? That took us anywhere between 13x and 500x rallies in the past. I cannot really understand that much, right? And this is um, this is coming with a powerful, incredible volatility increase uh, with a volume spike, right? Despite you cannot see that the volume spike, it's present. It's present right here, right? And just for the sake of simplicity, simplicity I'm showing you almost an AK chart. Breaking above critical resistance of $25,000, closing through below, trading above for three weeks already, Baking new highs on the local weekly basis, breaking above the 200-day average, a 200-week average, and breaking above the 50-week average, 
and this so-called death cross that so many people had feared, you know, uh, which has no history, no track record. And so far, this so-called death cross, because though in the weekly time frame, all those signals are extremely lagging, right? They are extremely late. It may happen that it's just confirming after the fact that the bear market happened, right? Because it constitutes the 200 week of price action. So this is, this should be interpreted as death cross. It should not be interpreted as a, you know, onward looking signal. It's a bad book, backward looking confirmation that the bear market took us from 69,000 to 15,000, right? This is not having any forecasting power. It's not having any, any tradable, you know, odds for you. You should not trade based on that. Because if you fix, if you frame within this conservatism bias and try to find confirmation with the signal that is worthless, right? Because it has too much luck and try to validate your short bias because you're stuck in the long-term bear market frames thinking that, okay, you know, maybe you're stuck in short. Maybe you didn't get your filled entries run lower, right? Maybe you got stopped and really are afraid to go back, right? You're exposing yourself to risks of missing the rally that is just getting started, the rally and the signal that brought anywhere between 13x and 500x. Who knows where we get right now? The anticipation is that we'll get somewhere in between, most likely, right? We don't know, we don't know the future. However, again, trading against that is like assuming that this summer you're going to freeze in negative temperatures and somewhere on top of the iceberg. So what are the odds for that? Of course, we cannot predict that this hammer is going to be hot. However, what are the odds that you're going to be right trying to expect negative temperatures in the summer? What are your odds expecting that this signal, which historically brought for Bitcoin 13x to 500x rallies, are going to bring negative losses this time? I would say they are pretty low. Don't you think so? So having... <clears throat> so having this long-term signal, right, we're looking at this massive potential candidate, which is ramping up and stepping into the most bullish season of the year. And if, and if we go to season X, right, uh, season X, there we go. Uh, we're going to have a look and try to understand that, again, the April and May, which is basically the, the marked territory in here, you know, it's basically returning you over the course of the last 11 years. And even if we take it within the whole history, the 12 years, right? What is going to tell us that with the increased earnings from 2011, right? In here, uh, we're looking at increased massive cumulative profit and annualized profit, annualized return of 684 um, or even more than that percent, right? With 75% odds of winning over 12 years. If you have got odds, of 75% chances that you are right by entering a bullish and longing into bullish season of April and May, which is the one marked, uh, then average return 40% and medium return 25%, right? Um, I would say those are pretty good odds. Those are pretty good odds working in a favor. So we are about to step in and enter the most bullish season of the year, right? And... If we take it out, if we take it out, the, the, entire, the entire history shows, like I said, that April is the best performing asset, is the best, uh, is the best performing time and moment of the year, right? So April and May are two great historical um, periods and moments to be long, to be aggressive about the purchases. And of course, you cannot predict the future. However, we've got the odds to work with 75% of chances that if you buy, you're going to be profitable. Right, those are the odds I will take personally. <coughs> then finally, then finally, if we have a look at the long, shorter term time frames, shorter term time frames, well, we're looking at the Burbicator Pro, which is my private trading system setup, right? And even if we take it on the 12 hour chart, where it's going to be so much easier. <laughs> It's going to be so much easier. Life gets so much easier if we turn on the Burbicator Pro. I personally trade the trend following breakouts, which I explained, you know, some time ago. I do ignore the divergences which are often present when the trend extends. And this is natural for the long-term time frames to have lots of divergences and they are not so much valuable, I would argue, right? So disabling those scalper 
uh, baseline and the filters and, and the signals on the scalping. Uh, this is what we get. This is my private trading setup. This is my private strategy, right? And which basically has helped me get anywhere. Uh, first of all, more than 500k profit in just two or three trades and basically ever since mid-June. Oh, sorry, since mid-January, right? So it's just over little over two months that it's got me over half a million dollars in profit, in pure profit, as I rallied six, uh, 690 Six thousand, six fucking hell, sixteen thousand nine hundred twenty for the entry, as I recall, all the way to twenty two eight hundred, which is where I got stopped, entered a little bit higher, uh, just got chopped a little in sideways, right? Uh, entered at twenty one uh, nine hundred approximately, and I'm rallying it still, trading stop losses higher and booking in the profit on my uh, close to seven figures position right now, right? So if it goes like that, I'll be easily on the position. Um, and, and, and a 1 million plus profit into April and May, because those tend to be a very bullish year, um, very bullish periods of the year, right? Very bullish season. So I could easily pull it off, I do imagine, with 1 million profit in just three months uh, using the strategy. And I just made it very public. It's very transparent. It's back tested. It's tested. It's proven to be profitable, proven profitability. And I showed it off on my Twitter Right, and if you go to my Twitter at underscore at crypto underscore burp, you're going to have this video pinned, right? Which is where I explained for 20 minutes straight in my entire strategy for how it works and which which aspects of Burbicator Pro you should pick uh, to well to adjust your your actual time frames, right? Because 12 hour time frame is the one that I use for the breakouts, right? However, if you go and apply the baseline and increase the uh, look back period for 200 periods. And if you apply that for a weekly, right? Or if you apply that, uh, well, for a weekly, what it tells you, of course, this is long, big, big lag. It shows you that we are right at the resistance, that if it's broken and it seems willing to be, to be, to be broken to the upside, then it means there is no resistance to the upside anymore. On a daily time frame, which is much more representative for this long-term trends, we're looking at a continued upward trend that is on the long-term basis. And this continued upward trend tells me and it informs me that the long-term trend is bullish the long-term trend the primary tendency aka the bull market or the bear market is bullish is inclining is ascending is climbing growing moving up there is not a single point that is bearish about 200 day baseline of the barbecue pro this hybrid adaptive moving average that is custom designed by an excellent author uh, that is pressed, tested and proven to be profitable over the years. It's climbing up aggressively. It's climbing up aggressively. And this represents the bull or bear market trend for most of the time in the 2022, uh, for the entire time, basically it stayed flat or declining. This represented the long-term primary down uh, trend, the bear market. Right now, we're continuously, consistently and in a persistent manner climbing higher. This is, ladies and gentlemen, infant stage of the new bull market. We get everything that we have to get in order to confirm that. Increased volatility, massive trending tendency, new highs made, breaking above critical resistances, stepping into the most bullish season of the year, the most bullish pre-election year of you could ever get, 83 to 84 odds that you're right about that. Inclining 200 day trend. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a profitable year with profitable strategy proven, tested, back-tested, and working in real life that made me over half a million dollars in just two months, right? And there are plenty of those. This is trend following, moving along with the trend. Uh, and even though you're going to get stopped 70% of the time, because the markets move in ranges, right? So if they move in ranges, they chop you out of the whops, of the stop losses. You got whips, so basically protective stops get triggered and the market rallies back inside because it's mean reverting. It's not trending. It means it's going to curve back. Uh, at their boundaries. However, once in a while, those massive vertical trends continue to appear, right, to the upside in the bull markets and to the downside in the bear markets. So following that strategy, you know, just the one that I used as, like I said, for the high time frame trader, you know, is probably the most profitable one. And uh, shorting, you know, playing level to level can be right 70% of the time. However, the profits are low, right? Because you are trapped in a local small range. So imagine that you can rally Bitcoin from 16,000 to 23,000, 
right? Then how much more profit or how much less profit you can get if Bitcoin chops around 20, uh, 21 and, and 25, right? So this is percentage-wise a more losing deal because those longer term tails develop, those longer tails called trends develop and they give you the biggest amount of profits. Now, if you take it to lower time from such as four hour chart, right? What you're looking at right now is basically, uh, well, the baseline bands, right? You can actually, actually equip it with the divergence system, if you will. However, and, and a B pro lines, level lines, right? If you want to play it more on the short term basis, the four hour chart will help you enter your um, enter and exit your positions if we adjust again to, to the default 20 period um, baseline length, the point of reference look back period. It's going to readjust and it's constructed and designed in such a way that most of the time the market's moving in sideways. They're going to be more or less random, a little bit of a 50-50 chance, right? That it's going to be 50% time of the top, 50% uh, of the time it's going to spend in the lower half of the range and the other 50 on the upper half of the range. So that the baseline bands, the momentum indicator, uh, the momentum indicator pro bands give you the points of reference, the frames so that uh, they are credible support and resistance regions, right? So you know that the market has a very good odd that it's going to bounce back in the area of 26,500 um, all the way to 27,000, right? And that it potentially may uh, get a little bit of a rejection somewhere in the upper half of $29,000, right? And anywhere in between means, well, that we are likely going to bounce back and forth. However, just like we've got here, it's not going to work um, so well. Or I should say you should not fade or sell the resistance anymore um, as, long, as soon as you see the first powerful break outside, right? Because this is what the, where the trend emerges. However, this is a perfect setup. The baseline Burbicator Pro Momentum Bands are ideal and perfect along with the divergence system to help you detect the overbought and oversell ideas and the areas for Bitcoin and any other asset works for altcoins, works for stocks, works for Forex, works for every single other um, basically financial market that you can pick and think of. And it's going to mostly cover on about 95% of chances, right? That the market is going to find itself in the choppy sideways. Uh, and you're going to be right 70% of the time, seven out of 10 trades are going to be right with smaller profits limited by the narrow range, right? Until the market breaks expansively and ex exponentially. And those level lines that are displayed in here, they are automated, adjusted, adaptive support and resistance levels that are automatically defined and uh, could be acted upon as targets. If the market breaks below this level line to the downside, the next target becomes this level line, right? So 26,352. If this one is broken with the close through or below, you know, four hour candle close, you know, you can anticipate the $24,000, 24, $24 uh, 18 right to be uh, the next target however right now we've bounced above uh, this this level and we're heading towards this resistance on so 28 800 is right now the main resistance how simple is this automated support and resistant levels uh, within the level lines right and they could be associated and paired with those momentum bands of the Burbicator Pro giving you the support and resistance areas uh, to make sure that you are 70% 70, 70 of the time you're right about buying and selling, buying at the support and selling in the resistance. This is an incredible tool, incredible tool. And finally, if you want to be a scalper, right, which is the most degenerate and gambler uh, strategy, if you will, you want to have something that is um, cast and designed for this very noisy environment. There's lots of noise, lots of random walk, lots of um, inefficiencies or efficiencies, I should say. Lots of uh, market turning back and down, uh, back and forth, you know, in between the same ranges. So we can use the level lines as well, obviously. However, what you want to have is the pivot signals. You can apply the trend filter on the scalper um, as well as as well as well the scalper filter, for instance, right? Um, divergences are going to work as well. So this um, scalping systems, right? The scalping system is, is just one of an example. It can help you decide that if this... Uh, you know, if, if, if the main support holds, right, this is a kind of like a point of reference. However, every time a little bit of a cross comes up, uh, you know, comes up and appears, you can consider that as a scalping signal, right? That is actually followed by a little bit of decline 
in here, in here, a little bit of an upward scalping signal in the green or sorry, in the green or orange, depending on the setup. It climbs up higher. So it's a very powerful, very high performing, well profitable system for lower time frames. And there are so many other options that you can choose and pick from, uh, depending on your on your ideal uh, style of trading, right? And now is the best part. Today marks the last day of our incredible, incredible offer. And if you're watching that, this means that you've got probably less than five hours left, less than five hours left or so until uh, this offer expires. Because, well, if you're watching that, you are still eligible to claim one month of free access bonus, one free month extra okay, of Burby Kid Pro, which is this system that made me over half a million dollars in two months, and the one that I just displayed that you can customize and build to fit your style, to suit your style, to suit your preferences, to just follow your risk preferences, right? Um, and you can get it one month of free access bonus extra for free. This is my gift. This is my present. And many people, more over hundreds of people, more over hundreds of people, you know, basically have used this. And the offer has lasted for a long time already, and it's about to expire. You've got less than five hours to come in and act. And if you actually follow the link, right? If you follow the link that I got on my Twitter, uh, I'm going to put it in the video description, by the way, so that you want to make sure that you don't miss out on this opportunity. Because if you're reading that, again, you can claim you're eligible to claim one month of Burbicator or Pro bonus for free. That's right. I'll extend you for free for entire month. And every single month can earn you so much more money. So you can get your month for free. And you can enter this link on my tweet. Or you can go ahead and enter the Burbicator Pro bonus, right? So the burbicator.com, Burbicator uh, B Pro, right? The Burbicator Pro is a, is a long version of B Pro. B Pro is a short for Burbicator Pro bonus. You type it in this time. Right? B Pro bonus. You type in the burbness.com B Pro bonus. And what happens is, like I say, you can get ready for these massive big rallies that are about to come in April and May. And this is literally the last call. This is the final offer, the final shot. The final shot before we disconnect and close off this offer and before all of those bonuses and 33 30 day free access bonus expires. And you get so many good goodies because you're also getting a free PDF with a special strategy training if you join and sign up within those next five hours or so, right? So you can get ready, get a special training, and get a free extension of Barbicator Pro. This is the system that easily can pull off tens and hundreds and millions of dollars if you manage and follow that well, right? And like I said, it starts with something as simple. If you buy one month of Barbicator Pro, right, which is a very cheap cost, and you'll get another one month for free. And if it goes better, because it applies to four months, and it does apply to even a yearly, which means that you can still get a yearly deal with 30% off and this special PDF training and this special extension on one month for free, right? It's coming all together in a brilliant offer. And this offer is about to expire um, and the only thing you have to do to claim this PDF is just get your email, which is test, whatever, test, test.com, right? Put your name. My name is Adrian, Adrian, right? I've read the terms, agree, get my free coupon code. And there you go, right? So you can get your, uh, you're going to get your PDF in the mailbox. So check in there and you're eligible, like I said, to claim one month for Barbicator Pro for free. And that happens if you go ahead, click on the link in here, Click on the link to claim my free Reaper bonus. And if you use this special code highlighted in orange, BPRO2M, right? This is the special code and it's taken off on the website. This disappears, this often disappears in the next couple of hours. So you want to use the special code at the checkout to activate your free extension. So I go ahead and claim my free BPRO bonus. And that's the least I can get, right? Two months, you just, you just click on the sign me up, fulfill all the data privacy, Policy is fully ensured to manage your, um, with a manager private data and store it safely in a secure manner, right? So uh, feel free to go ahead, proceed. And at the checkout, just ma make sure that you apply the BPRO2M to get one month for one month uh, and one month for free, right? Um, 
like I said, it works for four months, right? When you get special 10% off with crypto payments as well. That's right. Even if you go for a year, like I said, you get the special 30% off total, right? Instead of paying uh, almost $2,000, you pay not even 950 bucks because, well, imagine paying something, you know, for 950 bucks, that's something that may earn you half a million dollars over some time, right? I, I guess it's a no brainer. However, it gets even better because you're not only getting free extension, free extension over 30 days to your yearly package, to your yearly order, and you also get 10% off crypto payment. If you choose to pay with crypto, I want to give back to the crypto community, which is why to every order, we apply 10% off, taken price reduction, price dropped by 10%, right? That's a lot. On a yearly package, that's a lot. A lot of money stays in your pocket. If you go ahead and proceed with the yearly payment today with cryptocurrencies, total 30% off, right? Free access, free PDF, and you join the most credible, reliable community over the years with cryptocurrency industry. Myself being the only CMT charter market technician from Poland, I'm inviting you to take this opportunity. And it gets even better because if you follow that, like I said, you get your special PDF titled How to Win Your Confidence Back with Strategy That Made 500K Profit in Two Months. That's about my strategy. It's tested. It's showing off how it works with full backtest, with full conclusions, backtest performance analysis, how it works in specific years, and full information that is going to help you decide. And it gets even better. And it gets, and it can get even better because if you join, if you join, this you also are entitled to claim a special special hoodie just yet maybe you still have a chance right however you would need to go ahead and book your in with the special 110 percent nebulous guarantee which basically says that if you follow the program for 14 days and don't get any successful call and don't get any successful calls from you my team you'll get 100 bucks that's it money back guarantee right or 15 minute free strategy consultation with me or my team to figure out what's wrong. And this is a guarantee, which means that the risk is on my side. If you are unsatisfied about that, and you, we don't deliver the results to you. You get your free money back or a free strategy session to improve, which is, in all honesty, much more uh, valuable than this 100 bucks. So, um, you know, this offer is expiring as well, right? So if you want to learn if you want to join in for the four months and also get a 10% off discount with this special hoodie, with free um, with free access to the special bonuses, to special trainings, right? Which is basically this Pro Trader Worksheet Profitable Day Trader Toolkit before your next trade checklist. With this money back guarantee, money back policy and a special 15 minute consultation to figure out what's wrong and your hoodie that you can pick from the selection and variety of the styles and of the patterns. Uh, those are all bonuses. And you still have, like I said, less than five hours left until it actually realizes and expires. And I'm really sorry we cannot wait for any latecomers. So if you want to use this, you'll have to go to the burbness.com, the burbness.com slash bundle, right? This is a bundle offer that is actually expiring. And like I said, you can use it for monthly for, uh, for a special reduction, right? You can use it for four months and you can use it even for a year. And um, every single time you pay, even for a year, you pay 30% off, right? With a special 10% um, off coupon. So, so much money stays in your pocket. You get money back if you if you don't deliver. You get a special hoodie, special set of PDFs, and a free strategy training that I'm going to organize. And guys, I know this has been long. Uh, however, I do want to make sure that you don't really miss this, right? Because this opportunity is not coming back. The hoodies came after three years. The three years, some people had to wait to get their hoodies and they are on, right? I've got my mom on belief one right now. And it's pretty fucking cool if you ask me, right? And they are added as a free goodie, as a free extra to appreciate your loyalty and fast action. And you've got less than five hours to act upon that. And after it expires, it's gone. The bonuses roll off. It's impossible to get them. And that's it. You'll miss out. Just maybe you'll have to wait three years or even forever to get those hoodies back. That's all, folks, I've got for you right now. Make sure you hit, again, the links in the video description. I'm going to drop those specials offer, special offers, which are about to expire soon in the next couple of hours. And after they expire, all the bonuses evaporate, they're gone, and the prices go back to normal. This might be the opportunity of a lifetime to go ahead and prepare 
with this massive strategy with the Burbicator Pro three monthly extension, as well as joining the Burb Nest community with an exclusive Nest Club membership with money back guarantee, special bonuses, free hoodie that is limited. And well, you don't want to miss this out. Otherwise, you might just be making a big mistake and not getting ready for the biggest bull run right now and trading against those massive breakout signals into the most bullish season of the year, April and May. This may cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars of lost opportunities. Think twice. Don't miss this opportunity. See you around. Check on the video description. Click on the links. And I see you in the bird nest. God bless.